I'll be painting up this science fiction combat armor in this video sponsored by our friends at Hero Forge. Normally we have a whole lot of fantasy stuff that we make with Hero Forge, but I thought that I wanted to make um, a sci-fi character, maybe a stand-in for wargaming or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using Blood Angels Red here, and that's going to be uh, a lot of the armor that you'll see. It's got sort of a red and black and metallic motif that's going on. It's definitely was inspired a bit by the Martian uh, military from uh, The Expanse. That's where a lot of that came from. This was one of the pre-primed miniatures, so I haven't primed this myself. It came from Hero Forge, all primed for me and ready to go. So I'm going in. Uh, I got a character brush here. Uh, there's a lot of little tiny details, so I'm going to be pretty careful as I go in. Blood Angels is a contrast, so it's pretty thick as I layer it in there, and it'll pool and make a really nice effect for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do one thick coat in all of the red areas and let that dry completely before moving on. So now I'm coming in with a lot of the rest of the armor and I'm using Iron Breaker. Now this is going to be a um, almost an undercoat for me. I'm going to come back over the top of this with other metallics and some other paint and contrasts. So I'm going to be layering things up. So I don't need to be quite as careful, but I don't want to get the... Uh, metallic over the top of the red that I already had. So again, I got a pretty small brush that I'm using with this one. It's a really nice sculpt. Um, there's a lot of good clean lines, a couple of areas where things get much more defined after I've got a couple of the layers of paint on there. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and be pretty careful as I go through and pick out all of the hardened points on her armor. All right, so I really like the contrast look of there. I'm using a Basilicum Gray now, uh, and this is gonna go on some of the more cloth, or maybe it's Kevlar or something like that, as well as it's going over the top of some of her metallic plates. Now I went with the Basilicum Gray here. You could use um, one of the black contrasts because I did about two layers of the Basilicum Gray to get it as dark as I wanted to. So that's up to you, depending on how many layers you want to use, how dark you want it to look. You could go with a, a black contrast or multiple layers of Basilicum Gray. I like the way that this settles into all of the lines and the seams of the armor as well. This does pool pretty thick, but that's kind of what its job is. And it looks really nice once it's dry. I used Hero Forge to build this sort of combat veteran uh, sci-fi lady, whether I want to use that in a game, uh, tabletop game, or I want to use it as a proxy. I also was using their color system. Now this is in beta and hopefully will be coming out soon, but you do have access to it if you backed them on the Kickstarter. The color is a really great tool, so I was able to pre-plan all of the colors and see what it is that I wanted it to look like. And from there, I was able to uh, make some customizations, which really is the name of the game at Hero Forge. Completely customizable minis, whether it's for your tabletop fantasy or something that's a little bit more science fiction like this combatant that I've got right here. After customizing her and seeing the color scheme, I was able to pull that up on my computer, saving the picture, and use it as a guide as I was painting. So let's get back to this guide. Now that Basilicum Gray has dried, and this is two different layers. I'm using one of Citadel's newer paints, Canoptic Alloy. I like this a lot. I use it uh, quite a bit. It's a, just a nice color. It's got a little bit of warmth to it, almost like, um, almost like a, a, a brass or a nickel, maybe, um, without being super warm or yellow like uh, like some of the other colors. It's, it's a subtle difference, but I like it against that uh, really shiny silver of the steel. And I'm using this to just pick out and differentiate a few plates on her armor. Something to consider when you're working on these science fiction armor pieces is that not all of the different little armor plates have to be the exact same color. 
It's easy to have a few plates of steel and a few plates of iron or titanium or whatever, and differentiating between those different areas with slightly different complementary metallic looks. I do want to go ahead and get her rather large uh, gun taken care of, so I'm using Rune Fang Steel. And I'm going to do just a nice all over with this and then go back later and pick out some um, special areas using different colors and washes and all sorts of things like that. I don't want just one big black weapon that's uh, attached to her back. So I do like this slightly shinier look that we're going to go through and tone down a little bit with our shading. I really like the juxtaposition of the science fiction, you know, futuristic stuff, this big awesome rifle that she has, along with the scythe that she's using. It's just one of the ways that Hero Forge allows you to use their thousands of items to truly customize the perfect mini. I've basically got everything that I want here, and everything is nice and dry, so it's time to take off some of that shine and help some of the details really pop, and I'm going to be doing that with Nalm Oil letting that get into all of those cracks and crevices, and it's gonna just help everything look a little bit nicer, a little bit more defined. Once the nulled oil is dry, I'm gonna go through and pick up some highlights with uh, a number of different colors. You've seen us do highlights in a bunch of our other videos, so check out any of those to see the way that we like to really make the individual areas pop and shine through the use of highlights and extra colors. And all finished up here is my sci-fi armor. Um, I really enjoyed building this on Hero Forge, and I can't wait to find some reason to be able to put it out onto the table. I do want to say a special thanks to Hero Forge for sponsoring this video. Hero Forge offers fully customizable tabletop miniatures with dozens of races and thousands of parts to choose from. The easy to use design tools let you build your perfect miniature on a fully 3D in-depth character creator right in your web browser. They also feature downloadable model files to 3D print right at home. Hero Forge is constantly expanding the catalog, so check back often. New parts every week and major features like races and custom posing on a regular basis. So until next time, I'm Ryan, and thanks so much. Bye.